Hi, boys and girls. Good morning. Let's begin our math meeting for this for today, our last me math meeting of the week. So, speaking of week, how many days are there in a week? Let's count today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven days in a week. Let's do this all. Ready? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Very good. And today is what day? Yesterday was Thursday, which makes today Friday. Yeah, today is Friday. Say that. Ready? Is Friday. All right, good job. Let's move on to months of the year. Ready? How many months are there in a year? Do you remember? There are 12 months in a year. You can stand up on the ground and sing the song and do the dance with me for the 12 months of the year. Ready? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. Good job, 5K. Thanks for doing that with me. And what month are we in this month? It's this one. October. We're in October. What day in October? Let's look. Today is this day, and yesterday was the 8th. So, what does that make today? What comes after 8? Yeah, 9. Today is October 9th. 8th, 9th. Very good. So, what, what shape is today going to be? Let's say all the shapes that we have so far, just to practice our shapes and patterns. See? Rectangle, circle, circle, rectangle, circle, circle, rectangle, circle. What comes after the first circle? Another circle, right? So our shape today is our circle number nine. That is Friday. So let's move on to our date, writing our date. Now that we know what today is, today's date is October 9th. So let's start with our month. Do you remember what the first letter of October is? Yeah, it's an O. And what's special about that O? Yeah, that O is special because it's capitalized, it's big, unlike the rest. So, let's make capitalized O. You can take out a piece of paper or your whiteboard if you are able to do so right now and write it with me. Our capital letters always touch the top and the bottom. What comes after the O in October? O. Uh, yeah, a C. A C makes that sound. So you can make a lowercase C, touching vanilla, and that bottom line for the K in October. What comes after the C in October? Ah, uh, t, t, t. What makes that t, t, t sound? Yep, a T. A T is next. And we'll just make the regular T, not that fancy T with that tail. So, to make a regular T, you go from top to bottom and cross on vanilla, just like that. What comes next after the T? Well, act O. This O says the O sound, October. So we're going to make another O. 
This time, it's a lowercase one. Little O, big O. So next, after our second O, we have octo b b b. What makes the b b sound? Yep, letter B makes the b b sound. And for Bs, you always make a belly to the right. Make a line from top to bottom and make a belly to the right. And to finish off, Homer, what two letters go together to make the er sound in October? Yep, an E and an R. ER says er. So you can make an E and R to finish off your October. Just like that. Now you can write your number of the day. And what number? What is the date that we say in October that we're in right now today? If you forgot, you can look at the calendar and see that today is the night. October 9th. So to make a nine, you do a circle and a line. Just like that, October 9th. And after we do that, what do we have to do to separate the day from the year? What is the mark of the day? Yeah, your cute little comma, your sideways smile. So you can make that now. We have our month, our day, our comma, and now finally, our yuh yuh year. So, what year are we in? Again, 2020. The first number in 2020 is a two, yep. So you can curve around down and slide to the right to make your first two. What comes after that in 2020? Another zero, that's right, or our first zero. Looks just like capitalized O. And then after that, we have another two. So you can curve down, slide to the right. And then our final number in 20, 2020 or 2020 is a zero, another zero. All right, so you know what time it is. You can grab your marker or microphone and announce date with me. Ready? One, two, three. Good morning, Milwaukee. Today's date is October 9th, 2003. Good job, 5K. You're getting good at that. We can move on to Patterson's Day. Actually, I'm sorry. We're going to move on to the number line for our days in school. So, how many days in school are we at now? Well, yesterday we had 30 days of school. So today we're gonna have how many? 31 days of school, yeah. What two numbers make up a 31? Yeah, a three and a one makes 31. And the three comes first, because you have three tens, one, one. You can't mix them up. You can't do one, three, because one, three is 13. We want to make a 31. So the three comes first, 31. So we'll put that there. We can now move on to our chart. We're going to move on to our chart now for 31 days of school. And so you can see that. All these columns pulled up to three. So to make 31, I go to a new column at the bottom, is where I'm going to color that in for the 31. There we go. 31 days in school. So, how many pens are there in 31?
Yeah, three tens and 31. So I'm going to write that up here in our tens and ones chart. Halfway around and around again for a three. And how many ones in 31? It can help you sometimes to look at the number to look at the ones place. How many ones in 31? Yeah, one, one, and 31. So that's where you put the one there for when you come back to school. The O is the first letter in one, so we put it there. So let's move on to our pattern now. Now we'll move on to our patterns. Today's pattern is going to be about shapes. Say these shapes with me. Ready? Triangle, circle, square. Okay? Triangle, circle, square. What comes next in our pattern after the square? If this, if this part repeats, what comes next? Yeah, the triangle. Because that's the first one. So go ahead and make, if you're if you have your whiteboard or piece of paper. You can continue the pattern with me. So I'll make a triangle in our next space. We have triangle, circle, square, triangle. What comes after that? Yeah, after the triangle comes a circle. So go ahead and make a circle. And finally, our last piece of our pattern today, what is last? Yeah, a square. A square is the last one. So go ahead and make that. And as always, what do we do when we get done with a pattern? We double check to make sure we got it right. So let's do that now. So let's see, ready? Triangle, circle. Square, triangle, circle, square. Good job, Jeff Gang. You're doing great. Let's move on to the weather for today. Go ahead and look up your window to see what the weather is like by your house. And I will find my square. Ready? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy, what's the weather like today? Well, I hope that today for you, it is a cloudy day because that's what we're going to graph. So, it's a cloudy, it's a cloudy, it's a cloudy, cloudy day. It's a cloudy, it's a cloudy, it's a cloudy, cloudy day. All right. So, uh, what column, who has the most now? What type? Yeah, Cloudy has the most because it's the tallest tower. You can see that it has one, two, three, four, which is how many more than sunny? How many more cloudy days than sunny? there's one more cloudy day than sunny. And you can tell because there's one sunny that doesn't have one that's next to it. So it only needs one more to be the same. So let's continue with the shapes. We learned a new shape this week. Do you remember what our new shape that we learned this week was about in math class? Yeah, it was a rectangle. And a rectangle has how many sides? It has four sides. Yep, I'll show you. One, two, three, four. Four sides in a rectangle. Do you remember what other kind of shape can have four sides? What other kind of shape can have four sides? 
Yeah, a square can also have four sides. One, two, three, four. So they both are the same in that they can have four sides. What kind of shape can have three sides? Yeah, a triangle can have three sides. One, two, three sides in a triangle. And it's a triangle no matter which way you have it, right? And finally, what kind of shape has no sides, has no angles, no corners? A circle, that's right. No sides, it's all the way around, all the way around. So, great work, kindergartners, with your work during math this week. We learned a lot of new things, didn't we? So, have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday for math meeting.